Okay, so we have everything uh, closed and connected. That looks good. Tap out of edit mode, one to go to the front view, seven top view, and now we need to add another picture as a reference for our side view. So press three to go to the side view and minimize this one, add image. It's going to be right view, open. And again, you just need to pull the opacity down and resize the picture. And put it to the right position. Z to go to wireframe mode makes it easier to see going on size seems to be just about good yeah all right happy with this so start with the roof with the main I mean with the building selected press shift s cursor the selection if you don't have it this way now press shift a add mesh cube bring it up SZ scale along the Z axis as Y One, go to the front view and SX. Maybe it's coming down a little bit until you're happy. Three, go to the side view and tap to edit mode. Control R, add another loop cut here. A to deselect, box selection, select this side, box another, and just bring them down. Beautiful. One, go to the front view, and now we've got the uh, this wall on the right side of the building and another one these are actually full gable walls that's what I've learned this is the gable roof as far as I'm concerned <laughs> so we'll need to create this triangular wall here but we'll do it later and uh, here on top of the end, main entrance you see we've got as well this triangle th thing so with the roof selected in edit mode control R add two loop cuts bring them here scale along the x-axis to about the size of that thingy you know. great and control R add another loop cut just in the middle A, B position a little bit A to deselect go to side view and add another loop cut just here and bring it here Z select these two middle three to the side view and just bring them up it looks good but it's not exactly as we want to because you see this face created from four vertices it's got this shape so it's not straight there is a certain name for this but I don't know how to call it I just know that it's not right so select these two top vert uh, faces and X delete faces the bottom ones as well X delete faces we need to create go to vertex mode and one two select these two 
and this one press F A making a triangle face F A exactly the same thing here else people in 3d modeling generally they don't like triangle faces but in this case of the building it's all right press slash there you go just the roof selected it's easier to see what you're doing and close the faces at the bottom of this area as well f a one two three f and the last one f a z slash again okie dokie and uh, don't forget to press control s to save your file okay so now it's time to let's take the roof we don't we don't want a roof to be visible now and uh, just where everything is on a layer one just with the roof selected press M and uh, I'm using layer number 19 just take it and then you took the la roof there by holding on shift and select you can make both visible but we don't need to see our roof at the moment okay so gable walls building selected select one two three and four these two vertices and one two three four these two on the other side press shift D and P separate selection tap out of edit mode and select just that or we are just created select one two three four F face one two three four F and I okay first control R add a loop cut here control R add a loop cut here A to select all so now we can go to the side view and press E to extrude along the Z axis just a little bit right just a little bit Z to go to wireframe mode A to deselect and zoom in and set box selection select just these four vertices and bring them up here that's it A for some reason it's smooth but we need to press the flat make it flat now when you hold on shift bring the roof see it looks good a to deselect in the render this there is a line in between the wall and this part but it's not going to be visible in the render okay you just need to do the front as well one to go to the front view Z just need to see what we need to select this one and this one I, I believe now slash we need to select one two three and four yeah exactly and the same thing shift D and P I mean you can actually create a face now shift D F enter F to create a face and now P selection tap out of edit mode select this one go back to edit mode control R add a loop cut select all one E to extrude Z just a little bit Z to wireframe A to D select B select middle vertices and bring them up and Z and the same thing make it flat so slash Z. So on layer one we've got a main building. On layer 19 we have a roof. So we're about to take this 
uh, Gable extensions, select all of them and take them to layer number 18. Control S. We need to make some floor. So with the building selected, tap to edit mode, select this one, two, three inner corner vertices, you know, and four, and again, shift D, F, create a face, P, separate selection, and we've got a separated floor, which we can bring a little bit up, and we'll fix everything with uh, adding textures later on. And exactly the same way as you have created the floor, you can create a ceiling here. One, two, three, and four. Shift D, F, and P, separate selection. Select the roof and take, I mean ceiling, and take it to layer number 17. So go building. This one, layer number 17, you're going to be using just when rendering scene uh, inside of the, how the interior scenes. Right. Okie dokie, that looks good. And in a, another part, we will start with texturing our house.